Okay, so just to give you a little bit of background on this, um, one thing that we're doing with Ubuntu is we're building this overall conversion strategy. So the goal here is to build a single ubiquitous operating system that runs across all of your devices and, uh, and the cloud as well. So we started out in 2004, we built Ubuntu for the desktop, became the most popular desktop OS out there. Then we built Ubuntu for cloud, become the most popular cloud OS out there. And then we've been focusing on the devices, so we have Ubuntu for TV and Ubuntu for Android as well, where you can build beautiful Ubuntu desktop from your, from your Android phone. So part of the goal here, we had a couple of design goals. One is um, wanting to build a phone OS that doesn't, re doesn't require any hardware buttons. Most handset manufacturers want a really low bill of materials. So there's no reason to have buttons on a phone, you should still use the screen for everything. And then secondly, we found that from user testing, most people don't like the current phones because if you want to access your music, you have to go to a music application. If you want to access your videos, you have to go to a video application. And it gets even worse with social media. You have to have your Facebook app open, Google Plus app, Twitter app open. And you're constantly flicking between all of these applications to get through it. So we wanted to build something that was really personal to the user that fit neatly into the, into the, into the phone itself. And this really starts from the welcome screen. This is not a, this is not a lock screen. Like lock screen, uh, this kind of artificial barrier between you and your content. And the idea of the welcome screen is twofold. First of all, it shows things that relate to you. How many tweets you've received, how many Facebook messages you might have, how many missed calls you've had, you've, you've, you've had it, that kind of stuff. And then secondly, we spend a lot of time focusing on design across Ubuntu. So this kind of, this kind of design with the orange circles, this varies depending on the day and the time and what you're doing with the phone. So this is very personal to you as well. So in trying to build a phone that doesn't require any, doesn't require any hardware buttons, what we did is we hot-rodded each of the edges of the screen with different functionality. So for example, the left edge here, this is your most frequently used applications that you're using. So for example, if I can slide up and down here, we found that most people use like three to five apps. Web browser, email, Angry Birds, as an example. Those are the kind of things that most people are using in and out. So this provides real quick access to that. At the bottom, we have this Ubuntu button. We'll tap that, and this takes you home. This is where I was talking about content earlier on, about real easy access to content. Um, the problem that we had was, again, if you want access to your music, you want access to your videos, that kind of stuff, you have to, you have to go into these different applications. This integrates it right into the core OS of the phone. So for example, we, we have frequently used applications, frequently used uh, uh, missed calls, film releases, music, all of this is related to you. So if you like a lot of comedy movies, you're gonna see comedy movies listed in here as an example. So this provides a nice overview of access to your content that you own and content that you can get. Well then typically you often wanna delve into different content types a bit more deeply. So for example, if I scroll to the right, I can see my currently running apps, frequently used apps, installed applications, apps are available for download. We have this search box at the top as well. So for example, in the, in the, in the apps, if I was to search for Angry Birds, it'd, show, it'd update this view and show me everything that matches that search term. So for example, I could search for Angry Birds and it would appear in my list of apps available to download. Um, and then I could tap it and download it without having to go to an app store. We will have an app store so you can see ratings and reviews and all that kind of stuff, but it just provides real quick access to it. So we have other views as well. We have videos, people, access to your music, all of that kind of stuff is available right built into the phone. Now one of the goals that we had, one of the problems that we found with Ubuntu on the desktop is people use the mixture of native applications and web apps. But your web apps are always trapped inside your browser tabs. So for example, if you're using Google, Google Calendar, and you want to check your calendar, you don't want to have to go to a browser tab to see your calendar. You want to integrate it with your calendar on your system or your phone. So we, we wanted to fix that. We fixed that in Ubuntu 12.10 on the desktop. So for example, if you, if you use Gmail in a browser tab, um, you can quickly flick. It acts like a, a real application. You see notifications and all the rest of it. And we obviously brought that to the phone. So this is like your conventional list of people, like your address book. And for example, if I select this one, Florian, you can see that uh, we've got his latest Facebook message is already there. Now if I tap this, 
This wasn't working earlier on because our internet's down, but if I tap this, it's still down. <laughs> Hang on a second, let me, let me get out of this. So if I tap this, what I can do is it would then take me to the Facebook mobile version and I could reply to him directly from there. So all of the different, all the different net, social networks are integrated pretty neatly into it. Um, about the people view is you can see these green and red squares and they show whether they're online on the social on your social networks as well so that shows like the web integration but then obviously we wanted to build a really rich platform for native apps as well so let me show you that so as, a, as an example this is the gallery and this this is just a, a breakdown a day, a day day by day breakdown of all of your different pictures and videos and one of the things to note about this is that it's uh, we've worked really hard over the, over the last few years to provide as much access to content as possible. So Ubuntu, the Ubuntu desktop provides the greatest level of access to your content than any other desktop operating system out there. We don't clutter the interface up with buttons and toolbars and scroll bars and widgets and all that kind of stuff. We just provide real quick access to your content. So you can see all of the different you can see all of the different photos that we've got available. So, for example, we could select one. Now, I talked about how the left edge is there to, to load your frequently used applications. The bottom edge is for, is for um, tools that relate to the application that's open. So, if I slide up, you can see we've got some buttons available that relate to that particular image. So, for example, I could click share, and then I could share that picture on Facebook as an example. Now, one of the problems that we found one of the problems that we found in doing our assessment of existing phone platforms is that configuring your phone is really difficult to use. Because what you have to do is you have to exit out of your current app, you have to find your list of applications, you have to go to your settings, you then have to find the right category, and then you have to hope that that's the right category and then make the configuration change. And then sometimes what happens is you pick the wrong category and it's a, it's a pain to do. This is what the top edge is for. You can see we have all of these different icons, one that's for messages, one that's for your audio, for the network, for your battery, for your, for your time. All we do is we slide down, we can slide left and right, and that's where we can configure these different things. So we can configure the networks. So we don't have to exit out of our application, we can just go there and do it really quickly and easily. It's really simple. And this leftmost, this leftmost one is our messages. And this, this is a really neat feature because right now on existing phones, if you want to message on different networks, you have to use your Facebook app, your Google Plus app, your Twitter app, your list of SMSs, uh, your call log. This is all aggregated in one view. Um, and you can go and reply to each of these messages from that view as well. So you have one place to see all of your messaging. Happening. And then the final, um, the final edge on the right. This is uh, this is for multitasking. We found that multitasking on existing phone operating systems is overly complicated. Um, most people use three to five applications and they flick between them: email, web browser, Facebook, that kind of thing. So with the right edge, if you just slide to the right, this provides quick and easy access for flicking through our different applications. And then if you want to get back to the home screen, you just slide from the left, and then we're back there. And that's basically how it works.